Yo, Adam Saxon with Guyana Cube, and in this video, I'm going to share with you some free training resources for Power BI. That's right, free. Who doesn't like free? Let's do this. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, some free content, free training for Power BI to level up your skills and get you started with Power BI. If you're new to Power BI, this is a great resource. If you've been using Power BI for a long time, there's maybe some new stuff out that may help you just become familiar with some other aspects of Power BI or things that you may have just forgotten because you just don't use it regularly. So these are all great things to just keep in the back of your noggin, right? The back of your head. All right, first up, I want to start off with a blog post that Matthew Roach did over on his blog talking about the free training that's available. And we'll get into that in a second. He starts off with building a data culture and why training is so important in your organization to level up people and to make sure that skills are consistent across the organization, make sure everyone has the right foundation in order to use the product and understanding things like best practices and how to actually approach things. So training is super critical to the growth of Power BI within your organization and to you as an individual. And he also introduces the online stores training that is available or the virtual workshops that are available now from Microsoft's perspective. This is actually really awesome because there were employees of Microsoft stores. And when the pandemic hit, they were retooled to actually deliver these online virtual workshops. So let's talk about those online workshops. There are a few that you can actually take advantage of. There is an actual getting started with Power Power BI desktop. So you can actually learn how to use Power BI desktop. There's also a getting started with the Power BI service. So this is great for your business users, whether you're a business user using Power BI or you're getting started developing content in Power BI, both are going to be covered. There's also some newer content that was released in early 2022, which is centered around artificial intelligence as well as Teams integration with Power BI. So you can go check those out as well. These are all free workshops that are available. They are at different different times that may be suitable for your time zone or where you are at in the world. And these are globally available. So definitely take advantage of those as they're free for you and your organization. So if you're part of a larger organization, get other people signed up for these or, you know, a large group of people into one of these virtual workshops so that you can have some consistent, reliable training to get people started in Power BI. There's also other free training that's available. I've got a link down in the description below to instructor led training. So these are things like dashboard in a day, admin in a day, all of the in a day type training that's available. A lot of these are typically led by partners that are out there and free for you. So you can go to AppSource and go find that training that's available from our partners or the link that I've got down in the description below is actually a link to the content for both the instructor led and the attendee portion of the content. Again, great content to help get started in different areas of the product and, you know, just level up your skills. If you're not familiar with it and you're not using it, you should absolutely take a look. Learn content from Microsoft Learn. There is a lot of great Power BI content that's available that will take you through in terms of creating and using reports. So a lot of this was tailored towards the certifications that are available. So this will help get you prepared for those certifications. A lot of people ask us about how do we get ready for certification? go through the learn content. There's other items that are there as well. There's a using DAX learn path that Phil Seamark helped create. So if you're struggling with DAX, want to get started in your DAX journey before you go tackle some of the, you know, other paid courses that might be out there from other folks, this is a great way to get an intro into using DAX and understanding what DAX is all about because that is usually the hard part of Power BI. There's also another great training there that was done by some folks on the Power BI CAT team. And this is about design designing your reports. So if you want to learn how to actually create and design amazing looking reports inside of Power BI, there is learn content that is freely available to you that you can go take advantage of. The other resource I want to point you to, it's not necessarily training per se, it's the guidance documentation over on the Power BI docs. There is a lot of great useful information there. So if you want to think about best practices, things you should be doing, understanding things like a star schema, this is more reading content so that you can just go through on your own, but it's absolutely free and it's expert advice coming from the folks at Microsoft that know what they're doing. There are two specific things I also want to call out in the guidance documentation that's available for your organization that you 
you should be paying attention to. One is the adoption roadmap. So this is how do we actually adopt and grow Power BI with inside of our organization? What are those things that we need to be thinking about when we think about adoption and growth inside of Power BI? The other area which complements the adoption roadmap is the implementation guide that is there as well. So this is meant to replace the enterprise deployment white paper. It's meant to complement the adoption roadmap. Other content will be added to this over time. So definitely check back. But both of these together are allowing you to really grow Power BI in your organization in a smart way and a thoughtful way. So definitely check that out. I'd always love highlighting free content that's available for you to level up your skills in Power BI. Let me know what you think. Are there other things that you're aware of that is just free out there outside of all the blogs and videos and stuff that's out there? Let me know down in the comments below. We love just sharing that back out with the community. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.